everyone, and welcome back. This is Road to Division 1, Episode 3. I am TN Eagle, and right now we are continuing on in our quest to get to Division 1. We're in a Division 9 now, and if you missed the last couple episodes, there will be a link at the end of this video so you can get caught up. I do appreciate all of the views that we're getting, guys. If you do enjoy the series, please remember to leave a thumbs up. It does help me out quite a bit. And also subscribe. I'll be putting out daily FIFA 15 content. So uh, we're going to move forward here into our first game. We're coming up against a nice 4-3-3 squad featuring James Rodriguez. But he's also got Tony Cruz. He's got Pedro. He's got some pretty nice players in there. So uh, we're going to have to see how it is now moving into Division 9. Division 10 seemed pretty easy, although I will say I, I just I'm not quite acclimated with uh, the way this game plays uh, compared to FIFA 14. So I think there's there's going to be some struggles, but we'll see. I mean, we'll just have to wait and see kind of how the game plays out and what works and what doesn't work. Uh, now, corners obviously have been uh, pretty much corrected as far as being OP. Uh, and then on something like that one, you can't do much about that. And then here, right before halftime, my opponent scores again. So I'm like, okay, I pretty much just waltz through Division 10, getting Division 9. The first guy I come up against is just beating me down. He gives me the nice little uh, violin celebration. But um, still just a little bit of time left in the first half. So we're going to send it in and look at the near post OP. And I really think, uh, you know, based on the games I've played so far, that near post is the way to go so far in this game. And then here, this is my only cross that I've had be successful since I've started playing FIFA 15, honestly. I mean, that's the only one. So it's nice to see that occasionally they do still go in. Uh, and that would actually bring us even to 2-2. But then they're going to send it in again. And off the rebound, we're down 3-2. So just defensively I'm awful I'm I'm awful on defense and it, it, you can really tell because I, I mean I'm giving up tons of shots I, I'm I just it's awful it's just awful so we take a, a pretty bad loss there three two you can see you go up 11 shots nine on target I, I mean deservedly I lost that game so I definitely need to improve my defense and unfortunately you know last year I really enjoyed the fact that you could use any player, regardless of pace, uh, and, and still be effective. This year, that's out the window. This game is all about pace again, uh, just like it had been in previous titles. So uh, that's unfortunate in my eyes. I really did enjoy using some, and you can still use them. Don't get me wrong. It's just that uh, you know, right now, pace is is winning. So uh, keep that in mind as you're playing. If you're just getting going yourself, uh, you know, if you have a, have an option between two fairly similar players. And one of them is a lot pacier. You may want to go with the pacey guy <laughs> uh, because it really is, uh, it, it's all based on pace right now. So, um, and you can see in this video, guys, I was also streaming on Twitch, which I am going to try to continue to do on a daily basis. And that's why there's a little lull here. Before we get into the next game, um, I am going to try to do it on a daily basis. Most of the time, it's in the morning, uh, Eastern time, probably you know, like 9.30 or so Eastern time. I'm in Central time zone, but uh, and I'll stream for a few hours uh, before the early afternoon. So if you guys are around and are looking for a FIFA 15 stream, please make sure you check me out at twitch.tv forward slash TN Eagle. And also follow me on Twitter at B12 TN Eagle. Um, so we're going to jump in now, and again, this is our second team, and, and again, we still have some very, very high-rated and good players that we're holding on to. As you watch this video, the game has still not been fully released in the UK, so hold on to your higher-rated players, guys, until the weekend. I would say probably Saturday or so, uh, maybe late Friday, but Saturday you can probably definitely sell and make a, make a pretty good profit on some players and, you know, probably a minimum profit. Well, just about everyone, once everyone has the game, and we'll start to drive some of these prices up. So, uh, we're going to jump in to our next game. We come up against Hamster United, and he has Inform Neymar. And he also has Gareth Bale, and he has uh, Luka Modric, and he has <laughs> Iniesta, and then he, just for good measure, he throws in Messi on loan. So, I'm like, okay, this, this should be fun. So, we're going to go in. 
And we're going to see how we can do against this squad. And, uh, you know, right off the bat, we get a pretty good opportunity here. And this was just an awesome goal by Alexi Sanchez. What a move down there in the corner. It really seems you rather than run up the wings and cross it in. If you can get around that wing and head in toward the box, you can do some serious damage against the keepers this year with the finesse shot up close. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, so we're at 1-0, but then almost pretty much right away, uh, they will get that one back with Mr. Messi to square it up at one apiece. And that's still pretty early in the game in the 16th minute. As you see there, and then that was pretty much it here until the end of the game in the 87th minute. We send one up to Fernando, our CDM is going to take an offensive approach, and he would knock that one in to give us a 2-1 lead, and that was a pretty nice goal, pretty hard-fought game, to be quite honest with you, but we were able to escape that with a win, so that would give us a 2-1 advantage there, as well as bring us even, uh, or sorry, one up in the division, so we have two wins and one loss. That is it for this episode, guys. We'll add another game in next time, and we'll talk to you later. Have a good one.